How's everybody doing? And thanks for watching. This is George over at Wicked Warnings coming to you with a brand new 2022 GMC Sierra. This is a 2500. 2500 HD to be specific. And if you wanted some more information about this build, you're going to want to uh, ask about estimate 1218 shop. 1218 shop is the name of this particular build. What are you looking at anyway? So this truck got a whole bunch of stuff. What you're looking at right in the face in the grill is our LIN6 in amber white. We have that light in all kinds of different colors. We also have a nice 90 degree bracket, which we're utilizing to mount that light right in the grill. This is a fairly open air grill. A lot of different areas. You can mount a 90 degree bracket. Very simple install. And this 2500 HD we're looking at right now does not have active shutters. So there was no real complications with the wire. If it does have active shutters, it's fairly easy to go around them with your wiring and retain the same mount. Unfortunately, the customer is about five minutes away, so I'm going to have to make this video very quick. Above that, mounted to the back rack, back rack above uh, the toolbox or under the toolbox in the back, we have a weather guard toolbox, we have a back rack, and on that back rack, we have our 16 inch Whalen mini LED bar. Now, we permanently mounted that right to the top of the back, back rack. You remove the dome and bolt it down from the top down into the back rack. Fairly easy process, nice and simple. You don't necessarily need any additional light bar mounts for your back rack. If you wanted to use this 16 or a 23 inch light bar, you can mount it directly to the top. And as you see, it does clear the top of the truck and it doesn't stick up any further than the point on each side of that back rack. So you don't lose any more height mounting that LED light bar there. Again, that's our Wayland mini LED light bar. And you can see here on the side shot how we tipped it forward just a little bit as far as center line. We kept it a little bit further to the front than center line. So that way if the toolbox opens, it doesn't smack into the light bar too badly. And uh, that was mounted there, customer request, and it works out quite well. We mounted quite a few light bars right on the back rack like that and not have any problems. Below it, you can see our Thin X. That's an amber white light, but again, we have that light available in many different colors. And we've put two on each side, side facing. This is a snowplow truck. That's why we didn't do anything in the headlights and we did very minimal in the grill, which we we're gonna switch on a separate switch, of course. This truck, by the way, has factory auxiliary switches. Fairly boring there. We all know what they look like. We're gonna, we put them on a, a variety of different switches for the users what the user wanted. We talked with the customer, did it how they wanted. So um, we also have a flood feature on all of the lower rear lights. You can see there we flood our thin X. We also flood our sound off three inch M powers, which are mounted back facing on the bumper. I haven't showed you yet, but they're incorporated into that flood as well. Now, of course, like any of our builds, the white flood will work with or without the warning. But if you have the warning activated, as you can see, we have all the warning on right now, the flood will override it. Alrighty, taking you around the back of the truck with the camera still up pretty high so you can see that light bar, you'll see our three inch amber white sound off M power. We mounted that horizontally right by that rear license plate as well as horizontally real far into the step. I like to mount that light horizontally in the outer step pockets there. You can use the sound off M power, you could use a TIR3, well, LIN6 we use quite often, a LIN8 will fit there as well. Um, so many choices and it's just a great spot to put a light because uh, realistically when you put your foot in that step, very rarely do you get your foot all the way in where you're gonna damage that light way in the front. So we like to use that mount a lot. And as you can see, when we turn off the flood, we return back to our warning. Now, we went with a more aggressive pattern on all four of those M powers in the back for a couple of reasons. One, when you're behind the snowplow truck, that's where we want to be the most effective and most aggressive pattern. So I wanted everybody to clearly see this vehicle. We also had customer request to really light it up so he didn't have any issues with people behind him not being able to see him. Uh, the other reason is we didn't want to create a conflict too badly with the side lights. So by doing a faster flash pattern on the small sound off, it allows the slower pattern on the thin X that's next to it, primarily side facing, to also show off pretty well. Uh, and what I mean by that is sometimes when you have opposing patterns and the lights aren't synchronized together with this particular build, we didn't, you can't synchronize the sound off to one of our thin X's. So we had to go with kind of a, a contrasting pattern so you could pick up both lights and they both worked effectively. When you saw earlier on the side facing, how well those thin X worked. Now you can see how well the rear M powers work joined together. I think we got a real good package on the back of this truck. Again, this is all done owner request. He wanted to stay out of the tail lights, so we didn't do anything in those. He wasn't interested in anything under the tailgate, so we skipped that as well. We built it exactly how they want it, and that's exactly what we can do for you. If you ever end up coming to our shop, don't be fixated on doing exactly what you saw in any of these videos. They're just guides. 
feel free to modify, mix and match, and create your own unique package. Alrighty, now speaking of packages, this particular build, as you can imagine, involves quite a lot of wire. So, we're going to provide you with the links in a bundle for all of these lights. We're also going to provide you various bulk wire. This is bulk wire you're going to need to cut to fit, and you're going to need to terminate and connect at all of the lights. You're also going to need to set your flash patterns because you're going to get the lights, but this is not pre-built. This bundle kit that we're creating is a parts bundle. So that way you can create this exact job in your own shop with the material we provide. But by no means is this a plug and play pre-built system. You will need some assembly on your end. We're going to link you and provide you the light bar on the top all of the four M powers facing rear, as well as the four thin X facing sideways, as well as the two Lin sixes in the front with the brackets. Again, factory switched, so I'm not gonna put any switching options in here. If you'd like a switch, I would consult and take a look at our switch category and take a good look at our mini six switch. That's exactly what we use on these GMs. And if you look in the GM playlist, you'll see it featured in other videos. Alrighty, so now regarding the wiring that I'm gonna provide, and you can choose to provide your own wiring if you wish, just simply line up the products and fill your shopping cart accordingly. But we're gonna put in some 22-5 power control. That'll be used to extend all of your LIN sixes in the front grill and your sound offs in the rear, as well as your thin X. They may not use every wire in that power control, but that's okay. The five wire 22-5 gives you all the features you need and sometimes extra wires you don't need. We're also gonna provide you 50 feet of 18.5. Now that's going to be used to extend from back to front after you've gathered up some of the 22.5. 22.5 is too small to extend all the way down back to front on the vehicle. So you're going to need to join them together, possibly behind the rear tail light and switch it to an 18.5. If you want to pick up any other wire, by all means, please browse the bulk wire section. Take a look at the adhesive lined heat shrink while you're in there and possibly switches as well. Again, we're linking you to all the parts to give you the power to create the same build, but it is not a system that's going to put itself in the truck. There is assembly required. The wires need to be terminated. The patterns need to be set. Any questions? Please drop a comment or send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at wickedwarnings.com, and we can get this set up for you. The back rack and the toolbox were special order, so they will not be linked. If you want a back rack or a toolbox, Send us an email with some photos of your vehicle, and we can try to get you a quote on something you need if you're local enough to pick it up. We do not ship large items like back racks or toolboxes. That is a local pickup only item. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope my information is uh, accurate and comprehensive. If any questions, again, drop a comment or send an email. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, wheelchairs, scooters, and 2022 GMC 2500 HD Sierra. See you guys in the next video. Wickedwarnings.com